Bim Pan. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I have not filmed and uploaded a video on YouTube in like probably like two years now. I don't even know where to start. I don't have a justification for it. Actually, no, my whole life has pretty much changed in the past two years. If you haven't already been able to tell by the title of this video or if you don't follow me on Instagram, you should follow me on Instagram. I don't live in Johannesburg anymore. I moved to Cape Town a year ago and i'm saying goodbye to my apartment so that is actually the reason why i decided to record this video just because i wanted somewhere to like pay homage to the fact that i've been living by myself for a year and say goodbye to my my place give a little a life update maybe i don't know so i hope you guys have been good i've been good too i think <laughs> i don't even know what to say <laughs> yes i moved to cape town a year ago now i moved to cape town last year to do my masters i'm in my second year of my masters at uct so i'm working i started working last year i'm doing my masters i, I made some notes and i think i need to look at them because i'm actually getting i'm getting a little bit nervous if you don't know who i am then hi my name is bimpe i'm 23 years old i don't know why i do this thing that when the new year starts for some reason like i always think of my year as the age because i was born in 2000 so i wanted to say that i'm 24 but i'm not 24 my birthday's only in june so i'm 23 years old i'm a second year master's student this year i'm doing my master's at the university of cape town in industrial sociology and my research is focused on experiences of imposter syndrome among uh, amongst women in academia the amount of times i have to say that you would think that I'm used to saying that by now. I've lived in Cape Town for a year now and a lot of people ask me what is like the major difference between living in Joburg and living in Cape Town. And I think that as much as I've loved being here, it definitely had to grow on me. Like I had to warm to being in Cape Town just because it's so different. Like it's a completely different like, it's a completely different vibe here. It's a lot slower. Also just being here and moving here by myself and leaving behind all my friends kind of makes the experience a little bit different from people that move here like you move here with a friend or whatever i also feel like people have this thing where they're like moving to cape town like when i was moving to cape town a lot of people said oh my gosh you're so lucky you're moving to cape town everything blah 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 and i was like petrified first of all i was so scared to be moving so i was like am i that lucky i mean it's a beautiful city i keep looking out my window because i'm just trying to take in the view before it leaves me it's a beautiful city don't get me wrong but moving to cape town is not going to solve all your problems so if that was what you came to this video to hear that cape town's amazing and my life's amazing and everything's amazing here i mean cape town's pretty cool but cape town's not going to solve all your problems just by moving here i live by myself one of the reasons why i wanted to make this video was to pay a tribute to my first apartment living by myself me and my little 45 meter squared apartment against the world and just the amount of growth and like physical and mental growth that's happened in the past year just in kind of being on your own a lot like it's been fun it's been sad i have laughed i have cried but one of the things that i've always struggled with is not necessarily being by myself i think i struggled with being by myself a bit more than i thought i would even though like you obviously make friends but then again you have to like make friends in a new city but i think i'm struggling right now with all the change that happened last year moving from Joburg to cape town going back to school working while i'm at school and now it's another change where like i've gotten so comfortable in this apartment and i have to move um because i'm only here for another six months also if you haven't seen the videos the cape town rental situation is just abominable to say the least um so i'm moving to another apartment for the next six months so i just wanted to like document this time in my life my beautiful apartment that i've grown to love so much and i'm very sad to say goodbye to cape town i feel like is definitely more of like an international city just because it's such a big tourist attraction tourist trap so uh, one thing that i really enjoyed being here is just meeting a lot of people from all over the world whereas i feel like in Joburg, like i meet people i enjoy meeting people i'm very social people energize me that's the way i like to describe it but i don't think i've ever met as many people from so many different parts of the world yeah everyone wants to come here and be by the freezing cold ocean and look at the mountains and hike and stuff so that's one thing that i have enjoyed but i think that particularly on i don't know like I want to say like this side of the mountain you know more towards like the ocean and the city center and the 
sea points the camps bay the green points like this whole side of cape town is the side that people are talking about when they're saying cape town is so beautiful cape town is so great and all of that stuff but it's kind of to the point that this whole side of cape town feels not like a different country but it feels like you're almost looking for just a normal person to the point where i've literally met people from a european country for example that's been like you're like the first person that i've spoken to that's actually south african that's actually lives here that's grown up here and i was like that's crazy like i was speaking to somebody once that was here for a month and we were talking and i think i said something about colored people and they're like oh, i don't think i've encountered any colored people since i've been here i think the person was from france and i was like you've been in cape town for a month and you don't think you've encountered a colored person what does that even mean like what are we how do we account for that unless somebody literally like works somewhere um and it's an employee a lot of the people here especially the people visiting from overseas they get this experience of cape town that's like the international curated version of cape town and don't even get me started on the people that like you know the the digital nomads and that whole thing of how much it costs to live here that's another reason why i respectfully I'm looking forward to my next six months here, but I'm also looking forward to kind of leaving here just because the cost of living. Shambles, absolute shambles. Like I can't justify it. And the reason why the cost of living in Cape Town is so high is because there's so much foreign interest that the pricing of like the cost of living and going out to restaurants and rent and stuff is being compared to European countries or countries where they come here and can afford everything a lot easier. So they throw more money at the market. So the people that are here that are competing with RANs, that earn in RANs, that live here, that are from here, etc., can't outbid the amount it costs to live for somebody where like a $2,000 apartment for like a one or two bedroom, which is 40,000 Rand, is cheap for them. Because in major cities overseas and third world countries, that is cheap. But the average South African salary does not compare to a 40,000 Rand apartment, especially when you consider the fact that your earnings have to be three times the amount that your rent is going to be. So how do we afford to live here? That's actually a big part of why I have to move out of this apartment was because when I signed my lease, I signed for a year, even though I knew I was gonna be here for a year and a half, right? When I was signing my lease, I was like to the estate agent, should I just sign for a year and a half? Cause I am going to be here for a year and a half. And he was like, no, sign for a year see how you feel and then you can extend i had a clause in my lease agreement that said after a year i might be subject to an eight percent escalation in my rent amount so in the beginning of this year i was back home in job got chilling with my mom i was with my mom and we were saying that we're just going to take the eight percent escalation fee so i don't have to go through the trouble of looking for an apartment here because guys looking for an apartment here is absolute horror the real estate agents do not answer their phones you will go to an apartment viewing there'll be 20 other people there you'll get there they'll be like i already have 15 applications i'm like so why am i here then as if cape town lacks interest and also it's just so expensive that like there'll be an apartment listed for fifteen thousand rand, and they'll be like oh no somebody offered like 20k so they were the person that got it so yes i was speaking to my mom and we just said that we're just going to take the eight percent escalation fee i'm going to be here um for six more months looking for an apartment is really really hard so i tell the estate agent like hey happy to take the eight percent escalation fee sign for six more months and they were like actually um screw you and your eight percent escalation even though this was coming from the landlord i loved like my real estate agent was pretty cool guy shane really nice guy um he said that the landlord actually wanted to increase my rent by about seven thousand rand which was insane and then eventually i was like what about the contract like what about the lease escalation clause in my contract and he was like well she's not obligated to renew your contract because she wants this amount for the rental guys mind you guys like love my apartment the cost quite crazy a seven thousand rand increase is insane which she made me do less because like guys looking for an apartment is so bad and we were like it's just gonna be six months like maybe i can manage so we were like 7,000 and increase is quite insane. Also, screw you for just, it's the kind of thing with the mentality where they're like, okay, well, if you don't want to pay that, then tough luck. 
somebody else will pay it and that's just how the market is and also people are just inherently terrible guys i've been so traumatized and disappointed by people since i've lived here i have like zero faith in humanity i'm sorry to say it so eventually we got them down to increase by four thousand rand and i was just gonna bear the brunt of that because it's only six months so they sent me the contract for the new lease agreement i should you not on like a monday afternoon mind you i was working like full time from Joburg, right so i was really busy and i was traveling on tuesday with like the next day i'm like my phone's blowing up i'm literally on the way to the airport um because i was going to eastern cape my phone's blowing up this real estate agent's like please can you send me the contract please can you send me the contract the owner's losing their mind so literally in the car i like sign it on my phone and i send it back to them and as i get on the plane they're like the owner is like no screw you she can't have it anymore get out of the, get out of the apartment on the 29th of feb and i was like that's so nice she's literally evil and i was like i literally had like i was thinking about it for 24 hours also i was just hella busy but i think that she just wanted her seven thousand rand increase for rent which is what somebody will be paying and honestly thankfully that somebody is not gonna be me this is my apartment tour it's very little it's also a little bit of a mess because i'm packing to leave i'm literally moving out tomorrow so i'm really i really wanted to film this video just a, a disclaimer live by myself it's a one bedroom ish vibe i've had an amazing time here it does come furnished because i was not bothered i couldn't have been bothered to go around looking for furniture um and lugging furniture up and down it was also my first time moving out of literally my mother's house guys can you imagine <laughs> and the amount of times that i was so traumatized i actually vlogged my home moving experience here last year but it was so traumatizing i never posted it because i got here the place i booked scammed me basically i was homeless and then love my friends i found something out so i never posted the vlog i'm pretty sure i still have the footage maybe i'll do a story time and like insert some clips at some point so all of the like big furniture pieces aren't mine but they're still like you know they're still super cute um and then most of the decor pieces of mine and it's just been my beautiful first little home and i'm sad to say goodbye to it but i'm really excited of how much i've grown here and how much i've learned about myself and others and all of that good stuff here so without further ado this is my single girl 2023-2024 cape town apartment tour. i hope you like it okay and we have officially switched over to vlog mode so guys this is my apartment it's pretty much one room so quite frankly this is not going to be a long vlog so let me flip the camera and show you guys what i'm working with okay so when you walk into my apartment this is like a 360 view of the whole thing this is my room that's the bathroom that's me over there so when you come in the first thing you see is my workstation my laptop this is obviously a dining table but because i work from home i literally sit here for like 90 percent of my day also one thing i hate about glass dining tables is no matter how much you clean it the finger marks there's just there's just no avoiding it from my home office when you scoot over to the left that is what we are working with with the kitchen setup when i first came in here i looked at the apartment so quickly and i took like one little video of it and i was looking at it and i was like i don't see any appliances where is the fridge where is the washing machine like what is even in this and i was freaking out and at that point i had literally signed these but the appliances were all fitted to so the fridge the fridge is in that cupboard over there and then the dishwasher is in there um i think i would have preferred to have a washing machine in my apartment luckily there is a washing machine in the building i don't really use a dishwasher that much having a dishwasher is convenient but i do tend to use every single dish in my house this is my little kitchen space toaster kettle coffee machine microwave oven the magic my fridge that i'm not going to show you how empty it is because like i'm moving tomorrow so doesn't really matter and then this is where like the glasses and stuff are and then keep going i really love this little mirror set and you turn over to i know i probably shouldn't start with this but the one thing i'm going to miss the most about this apartment is genuinely the view and it's a it's just a view of other buildings for the most part I just love it whether it's during the day or at night especially if like it's a full moon and the moon is chilling somewhere there, then you can see the whole thing this is what the view looks like at night you see i just love a little sparkle come on that's like it's not too shabby 
Set. If I'm keeping it a buck, this whole apartment all could literally just be me standing in one place and being like, that's my bedroom, there's the bathroom, there's the living room, there's the kitchen, and that is the whole apartment. Living room. Fake plant, fake plant, real plant that never grows. Fake plants, real plant. No, fake plants little hanging decorative thing so because all the cabinets and the table and stuff and the dining table are all wood so all of my decor stuff that i got are all like wood wood wickery vibes here is my little digi cams this one i can't find a memory card for that one worked and then stopped working and then here's my film camera and if you turn i just have some hanging things there my couch green you know like look at the colors the color story of the apartment guys is very green and like i don't know green and like wickery from the living room you scoot over past my home office and then you are at the bedroom this sliding door divides the bedroom from the other living space so it is technically a one bedroom but if you're keeping it a buck like it really is um more of a studio or like a small one bedroom that's basically it so we have some artwork my bed very not much going on here those are my cupboards which i'm not going to open because simply yeah there's a lot of terrible things going on in there it's my bed i usually well i should keep my bags on like a bag hanging rack that i have in the cupboard but when i come back home i just kind of throw them on the side of the bed and they're basically a part of the furniture now and then on my side table i have a diffuser intense holder and then this really cool um hanging jewelry rack and just some trinkets and trays could i clean this up a bit more probably but you know so that is my bedroom and then you come on over again and this is the bathroom oh another thing that was really like important to me was the reason why i chose to put plants over here is because when i'm sitting working and taking calls and meetings and stuff that was the background so i really wanted this to be like my focal point and then come over this way to my bathroom i not much going on here a bathroom or bathroom i have all my makeup and stuff stored on this turning turnstile organizer and i love it it was supposed to be transparent but it's white so i don't mind and have some eucalyptus in my shower another fake plant another mirror narcissist if you're checking um some hand towels and yeah towels and that is it so that is pretty much the tour of my whole apartment here is one last overlook from the bathroom to my sweet little bedroom my dining space all the way back to my view and that is that is it ladies and gentlemen that is my 2023-2024 Cape Town apartment tour I can't wait to look back on this video in 10 years and just think back to my cute little studio apartment from when i lived by myself in cape town which like i said was the main reason why i wanted to film this video so that i can look back on it living by myself is scary um but i really enjoyed finding my own peace and finding my own way of living when i'm like really all by myself it was really funny the one time my sister was visiting me in december and i was like in the kitchen making stuff making stuff and she's like being fair i don't know if anyone's ever told you this or i don't know who would have told you this because you literally live by yourself but you are really loud like you are banging things making noise and i was like yeah because i just be sitting on my couch sometimes laughing at tiktoks out loud like a crazy person and you don't even think about it because why you are on your own honestly it's at the point where i do not know how i will live with another person like ever because i just really really love living by myself maybe in six months i will give you a tour of my next apartment which i'm moving to tomorrow but thank you so much for watching i hope you were entertained slightly by my apartment tour i hope you learned something i hope that everyone that is looking forward to moving out with this with your friend with your partner whatever i hope you are able to curate a space that makes you feel at peace and happy and excited to be at home every day leave a comment down below let me know what you think guys let me know what your experience is living alone or moving out or living with people like let's just let's just chat 
and I will see you in the next video. Bye!